The Rugby World Cup is just under two weeks away and every nation competing in the tournament has named their final 31-man squad to travel to Japan. The announcement of any World Cup squad is an exciting and nerve-wracking time for all those involved, but those emotions can quickly dissipate into despair and disappointment for those whose names aren't read aloud. Plenty of players with varying degrees of experience and stature across the globe have endured such feelings over the past three weeks or so as each country's squad has been rolled out. Some of these omissions were widely expected, some have come as a shock, while others have had to go through the dejection of missing out purely due to an untimely injury. With so many high-profile names absent from this year's World Cup, Bish Rugby presents the World Cup Emissions 15, a team composed of players who are certainly good enough and were eligible to be in Japan, but won't partake in the tournament for one reason or another. Welcome guys to a new video on BIS Rugby, that's right, it's Rugby World Cup Emissions 15, the players who have missed out through various reasons. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video and comment your thoughts down below. Let's start with the forwards. Okay, so first on the list is the Wales forward, it is Robert Evans, missing out this year for the final cut. He'd been one of Wales's first choice in the forward pack for the past two years or so and under Warren Gatland. He has 36 caps but has not made an appearance at a Rugby World Cup. Plays for the Scarlets age 27 but the likes of Rhys Kerr, Wyn Jones and Dylan Lewis have been selected ahead of him and it's very strange that this has happened. A real big shock here in Wales as well. Samson Lee missing, missing out. But Rob Evans is the one we are focusing on here. Him and Samson Lee together. More test experience than that of Rhys Kerr, Win Jones and Dylan Lewis all combined. A huge shock here in Wales. Can't personally understand it, how he's not got in there. But he's not in the squad. So the first player in this team is Rob Evans of Wales. We head across the border for our hooker. It is England's hooker. It is Dylan Hartley who misses out on this year's tournament. He didn't take part in 2015 because of disciplinary issues and he's only played in one Rugby World Cup, which was in 2011. He has 97 caps for England and he is 33 years old playing for Northampton. Throughout the past year or so, he just hasn't really been selected for England, but a vastly experienced player maybe could have been worth taking him along. But the likes of Jamie George now and Luke Cowan Dickey are really ahead of him in the pecking order. And Eddie Jones has gone with his tried and trusted over the past two years or so. So it looks unlikely like Dylan Hartley will play at another Rugby World Cup before he hangs up his boots. Taking up the tight head position is Owen Franks of New Zealand, age 31, but with 108 caps, he has been at two Rugby World Cups in 2011 and 2015, so double World Cup champion. Currently playing at 4 Northampton, this was probably the biggest surprise of the All Blacks World Cup squad announcement, was his decision to leave out this great player. He plays for Northampton and had been one of the first names edged into New Zealand's matchday squad for the best part of a decade, but his lack of mobility and ball-carrying prowess has counted against him. Instead, the likes of Joe Moody, Nepo Lolala, Ofeo Tugavasi, Angus Tovayo and Atu Moli have been included, thus bringing down the curtain on Frank's illustrious international career. Now, one of the biggest absentees of from the team is Locke. It is the Locke. Devin Toner, who plays for Ireland, 33 years old and has 67 caps for Ireland while playing for Leinster. He's played so much for Ireland over the past two years. It was just such a shock to see that he'd been left out of the squad for Rugby World Cup at 2019. Ahead of him was Jean Klein, who was picked, who was only actually eligible to play for Ireland a month Um before this Rugby World Cup, he made his debut just a month ago. That's all he's done. And he was in the training squad before he was actually eligible. Only two days before he was eligible, he got put in the training squad. And it just seems very, very strange that a guy of Devin Toner's ability is a line-out option. He can also disrupt a mall as well and be influential at the breakdown and in tackling as well. And a decent ball carrier as well. It's just a very, very strange decision from Joe Smith. Personally, I don't understand it, but Irish fans, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this one. But missing out on the Rugby World Cup 2019 is Devin Toner.
So one of the big requirements for Australia, if you want to play for their national side, is that you need to have at least 60 caps if you're playing mm -hmm. abroad, or that you play within Australia itself or within Super Rugby. And the player missing out here is Will Skelton. Plays for the Saracens but only has 18 caps. Has played in the Rugby World Cup before back in 2015 and he left Australia back in 2017 to really try and re-ignite uh, his career with the Saracens. He came into incredible form over the past two years, probably the form player in his position in the Aviva Premiership, and Checker was really desperate to get him back into the Australian fold. But with a 60 cap rule and a deal potentially to a super rugby team in Australia falling through, he will miss out at this year's Rugby World Cup. The talks were really close to completion, not confirmed which team it quite was, but he will not be at Rugby World Cup 2019. A real miss uh, for us neutral fans, but also for Australian fans especially. So missing out on Rugby World Cup 2019 as well is Will Skelton. Now a really interesting one, and we stay in the Southern Hemisphere for this one. It is Liam Squire of New Zealand who takes the number 6 jersey, aged 28, and has 23 caps and plays for the Highlanders. He was looking set to be part of the New Zealand squad, looking set to be confirmed to be in it, but he gave a call to Steve Hansen the day before the squad was due to be announced and said that he didn't feel ready to play at this year's tournament. He said on a post on his Instagram that head over heart, this is what he said, head over heart, and he turned down a place in the All Blacks Rugby World Cup squad because his mental health is more important. You've got to respect the guy for putting his mental health in front of his playing career and making sure that he doesn't affect uh, the ability of the team and their ability to win matches. But Liam Squire, we I wish him all the best, hope he gets better soon and works things out for himself. But he will not be at Rugby World Cup 2019. It's turning out to be a pretty decent squad, isn't it? So if you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe and comment your thoughts down below. Let's move on to the last two backs. Next up is Ireland's player. It is flanker Sean O'Brien, who will not be at Rugby World Cup 2019. 32 years old with 61 caps and currently just signed for London Irish. Another key cog of Ireland's forward pack, he has been left out. And his hopes of attending a third Rugby World Cup ended in tatters in May when he sustained a hip injury, which is expected to rule him out until November. He's been so unfortunate with the injuries over the years, and it means that the likes of Peter Omani, CJ Standard, Josh van der Fleer, Rhys Ruddock and Jack Conan are left as Ireland's back rows for the World Cup. And he'll also be unavailable for the beginning of the Premiership season with new club London Irish. Next up is one that is very close to my heart. It is Talupe Falatau, number eight, who plays for Bath, but more importantly, for Wales. He suffered a horrific injury with a broken collarbone during a Welsh training session last month, and the world-class number eight will miss out on this year's tournament. We have the likes of Justin Tipperick, Ross Moriarty, Josh Navidi, Alan Shingler, Alan Wainwright and James Davis, who we can have to decide and pick from. But when you miss out on such a world-class player, your team is always going to feel the effects of it. But I feel that he's hardly played for us over the past few years and Moriarty has done a good job, so he should be OK, but gutted for five. Now we move on to the backs, and in the number nine jersey is Danny Kerr, the England scrum half, who has been a fantastic player off the bench for England in the past. He's 84 caps, aged 32 and playing for Harlequins, and has appeared at one Rugby World Cup so far back in 2015 under Stuart Lancaster. He's spoken of his disappointment at missing out at this Rugby World Cup, and his frustration, really, with Will Hines being picked. 32 years old, Will Hines... One game for England, and he's in the Rugby World Cup squad. Of course, born in New Zealand, playing in New Zealand, came over uh, a few years back now and became eligible to play for England. Did he have an amazing game against Wales? He did okay. I don't think he did anything spectacular. Um, New Zealand fans, let me know in the comments down below about his performances in New Zealand. Do you think he's at the level of the All Blacks? Or maybe is that why he's been picked for England, not the All Blacks? Because he's just not at that level at the minute. 
Yes, Danny Kerr missing out. I think it's a ridiculous decision to leave him out. I think he's better than Will Hines. Off the bench is a fantastic option because we know Ben Youngs will start. He offers an attacking threat. He'll try things out. Maybe people don't quite like him that much because he's a risk player, so he tries things and not everything comes off. But I'm quite surprised by this one. Danny Kerr, not in the Rugby World Cup. Fly half position goes to Damien McKenzie. He can play fullback, but today we're going to put him in the fly half position. 24 years old, 23 caps, but also plays for the Chiefs. Unfortunately, he hasn't played at any Rugby World Cup and will not be picked in this one. He's out with an ACL playing for the Chiefs in April, and the injury has ruled him out of action until next year, meaning the All Blacks will have to do with Richie Mwanga and Bowen Barrett. Barrett as partners in the 10 of 15 axis. Honourable mentions goes to the likes of Gareth Hanscom, Quay Cooper, Danny Cipriani, and Joaquin Diaz Bonilla. Now we move on to the wing, and the first of the wing is, is a controversial one why he's been left out, but rightly so. The age 25, 13 caps for the Springboks and plays for the Lions, but hasn't appeared at a Rugby World Cup yet. An exciting winger, Pacey Strong, you know who I'm talking about, is our Fairway Dianti, who's been banned from rugby for four years because of finding a B sample in one of his drug tests. Now, he says he didn't know much about it, he didn't understand how it's got there, it could be put in a different uh, nutrition or something like that, we just don't know, or supplements, they have taken unknowingly that it has this banned substance in it, but he shouldn't have done it, <laughs> you know, and yes, it's frustrating, we want to see the best players at Rugby World Cup 2019, but if they're getting an unfair advantage on their counterparts, then it's just not fair. He'll be missing out. A really talented player burst onto the scene a couple of years ago, but he will not be at Rugby World Cup 2019. Next up, we have England centre Ben Teo, who misses out after signing a short-term contract with Toulon. He was at Worcester, of course. There were talks of him possibly going to Japan, but he's ended up at Toulon, which pretty much says he's put his rugby, England rugby career to the side and will not look back at it. A great centre back a few years ago, really powerful, running at defenders, crashing over the gain line, but he will not be at Rugby World Cup 2019. Eddie Jones favouring the likes of Henry Slade, Manu Tuolangi ahead of Teo, and rightly so, they have been the in-form players. But Ben Teo missing out of Rugby World Cup 2019, and after going through all that work to be eligible to play for England, it's all gone down the pan. Jumping up north for the next centre is Hugh Jones of Scotland, 25 years old, 23 caps, but has not appeared out of Rugby World Cup for Scotland quite yet. And it won't be 2019 either after missing out on the squad. Over the past year, his form has been really up and down. A few glimpses of what he could do against England, of course, at Murrayfield. But since then, his form has just not been at where it should be. He's not in the squad, which for me, he's exciting. He's so good attacking wise but sometimes has lapses defensively in his place Peter Horn, Duncan Taylor and Chris Harris and Sam Johnson have all been picked ahead of him he burst onto the scene with the Stormers in Super Rugby then of course moved over to Glasgow and had a Scottish grandmother or grandfather I think and so became eligible to play for Scotland and burst onto the scene with Scotland but he will not be at Rugby World Cup 2019 Scotland fans you got your shirt up there let me know in the comments down below should he have been picked in the squad or has Townsend made the right decision? The next big absentee from this squad is the winger Santiago Cordero, who plays for Argentina or played for Argentina. 25 years old, 35 caps and playing for Exeter Chiefs, but likely to leave there. As we know, one of the stars in the run-up to the World Cup semi-finals back in 2015. He showed what he could do with some great footwork and some fantastic tries as well. But Puma's head coach Mario Ledesma has opted for the likes of Ramiro Moyano, Bautista Delgu, Santiago Carreras, Emiliano Buffelli and Joaquin Tusselet instead of him. It's very strange for him to miss out. He's such an experienced player and can play a variety of positions. But... The coach knows what he's talking about, and when your attitude maybe isn't quite right, you should not be in the squad. It's time to find out who finishes off this squad, but if you are enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe. Let's move on to the fullback, and I think we all know who it's going to be. 
And taking up the fullback position, it is the Muppet himself, it's Israel Folau, a fantastic player on the pitch, but off the pitch, a bit of an idiot. 30 caps for Australia, sorry, not 30 caps, 73 caps and age 30 for Australia, one of the best attacking fullbacks in the world, in my opinion, when he gets the ball in hand and he runs at you. That's when defences start to crap themselves because he is extremely good at beating the players and creating anything out of nothing. But after his homophobic tweets and not backing down and then putting up a just giving page and then putting up a lawsuit because he said that home, uh, gay people are going to hell, he's just been an idiot, hasn't he? And why not focus on the rugby? Even if he believes that, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Just keep it to yourself and play the rugby. Of course, he's entitled to his opinion, but the way he words stuff, he really needs to think about the way he says things. But his ability on the pitch is undoubtedly, um, it's, he's just so good, isn't he? And Australia will miss him a lot. But how will Australia do? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on the whole team in general, and make sure to subscribe as well. Looking forward to Rugby World Cup. Loads of previews coming out on the channel. Very, very soon we have Japan coming out on Friday. This Friday, Japan's Rugby World Cup preview. How will they do on home soil? So make sure to be subscribed and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss that one. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy, guys. Peace.